Hello and welcome to the Cassie's Cosmo Daily Scope. I normally do this on Facebook and on Google. Um, for those of you that listen to my weekly overview, if you hit either a links above on the Facebook or the Google, I generally do write-ups 99% uh, of days. But today, um, for some reason, I'm just doing a quick daily video. From the 10th, which was the weekend, till next Monday, it's a time where your brain will feel like it's melting. A lot of people said they felt there was a lot of Neptune energy at the weekend. They felt on their knees, very low, very weepy, very at a standstill in their life. <clears throat> the two cards that have come out, on my Facebook it's the Nine of Pentacles, but I've used a different set of cards, the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups. It's about looking at choices and options in your life. The Hierophant can mean, yeah, your spiritual guru. It's ruled. <clears throat> connected towards Taurus, the five stars, looking at your choices to be valued, to know your worth, to look at the possessions that you've got in your life. Seven of Cups is past people, past situations, or the summertime looking at those choices that are coming into your life. As we get closer to the full moon, <clears throat> unveiling the truth, we are getting, uh, we'll be looking at, are we getting five stars in our lives? How do we really feel? Mars retrograde will hold you all back, a bit like, you know, you're standing at the rafters, feeling like your life is in suspension, and feeling as if you are, your life's not moving forward or going in any direction at all. And this is a time of sitting, thinking, pondering, and healing. Things aren't moving for a reason. To open up and for just to go with the flow, to think about what you want and where you want to move forwards and with whom. The moon will highlight some deep emotional and an emotional state of mind. So we're on the 13th, so tomorrow night, 14th, 15th, I kind of think it's a pivotal turning point. You'll hear about a lot of deaths and passing from human beings to, to animals it's 23 degrees and Saturn will not be in Scorpio till 1941 I think that it is next so we're on our last full moon in Scorpio um, we've got a new moon in October but this is the last and Saturn is saying learn so it's a hard it's a hard week this sort of next week from the 10th to the 20th will be a hard time you know, the cosmos is telling you to heal and to learn from what's gone on over the last two to three years. Plus, with Saturn in Scorpio, I said this is the last full moon. So full moons are endings, achievements. So make it count. It's facing those fears. It's getting real with those finances, your sexual needs, letting go of the manipulation, the power struggles whether that's a power struggle with money, with people, with situations, with sex, your reproductive needs, struggling for conception or children. Saturn is saying learn from this. Reach down to the depths of your soul because your soul is crying for change. Make it happen. When Mars goes <clears throat> direct next week, this is like this is like push to the keyhole. This is push into the channels. This is your rebirth. This is your new life when Mars starts to go direct next week. Uh, and the cards that we've got here, even though the one on my Facebook is the Nine of Pentacles, talking about achievements and money. This is a money week, so some of you may have to pay out money or have that pat on the back and receive a pay rise or unexpected finances in some way. The Seven of Cups is asking you, to look at the choices in your life and it's always good to have choices because those choices are there for a reason the hierophant is the inner guru you can look at the hierophant as saturn if you like the wise elder the person that we're seeking the knowledge from the person that we're going towards to kind of learn some lessons from it's never a good time this week to actually make decisions you'll feel the release more next week but it, you'll feel so a big a, a kind of energy where you're going to feel really deep inside your soul where you're going to start to panic and it'll start to say I want you there'll be a lot of releasing and letting go yes from people passing but releasing from the old ways old habits old you it's very much a time when you're going to really think about what you want your needs in life and the seven of cups is looking at the choices you've got if you're struggling with money look at the choices a lot of people are kind of especially scorpios wanting to move so maybe the higher event is talking to someone with knowledge a financial advisor a boss a parent um 
you know, it's like the father father figure, uh, the Hierophant Saturn is the father figure of the Zodiac. So it's all about learning knowledge or talking to people that can give you the information, the answers that you need. Answers will start to come forward. But today is a kind of day that you may get answers around relationships, around people. Answers will start to come. And it may not be the answers you want. You may be giving answers to someone else. But think about other people's needs. This is very much a time now to be getting that balance when Mars goes direct next week and pushes away from the harbour. So I hope you've liked the daily overview. Remember, talking to someone with knowledge, looking at your choices and options, whether it's love, finances, house moves, your life in general, you're going to find things come to the service in the next 48 to 72 hours. So I hope you seek and get what you find. If not, remember, if you've seen something negative or it's something that you didn't want to be shown, it's there for a reason so that you can release and let go and move on that pathway of life that is true to your heart.